It's a, it's a follow-up in the completely unrelated to my first question sense. And this one, in this other words, goes, the second question. Yeah, basically yeah, okay. it's the second question, but thank you for letting me sneak it in. This one goes to both Justin and to Gary. Um, Justin, you had a scene in the backdoor pilot that actually you got a chance to interact with David Hasselhoff, the original Michael Knight. I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about that and then maybe bounce it over to Gary and let us know if we can expect uh, he, he kind of walked off scene saying, I really hope so, which to all of us sounded like, please give me a job. <laughs> Is there any chance we're going to see the original Michael have returning appearances in the ongoing series? Well, Don't scoff at the Hoff, anyway. <laughs> yes. Well, being a huge fan of the original series, um, you know, I, I actually, when it first aired, I was three years old, but... Uh, by the last DVD. season, I got to watch that. It was, I remember that, and I, it was syndicated right after that. So I watched all of them, and I uh, was a huge fan. And it was very surreal. Um, you know, it doesn't really sink in until you're standing on set, and you know, we have a new kit, so it's still, you know, you can kind of still dif differentiate from the original show a little bit. But when he walks on set, and it wasn't until he introduced himself in the scene as, you know, hi, I'm Michael Knight, that I kind of freaked out a little bit. <laughs> it was, it was, it's, it's a very humbling and, you know, I, he's really tall. Yeah, he's and taller he, than me, he so. He can sing, too. Yeah, he can sing. <laughs> but we can, like, he'll just bust out into song in between tapes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, you're, you're just standing there and I'll please just sing. He's, he's <laughs> jump in my car, yeah, yeah once or twice, three times. I requested to jump in my car, but... So, so Gary, uh, the gentleman... So, um, here, here's where that situation lies. Um, David and I actually had breakfast at the fabulous Beverly Hills Hotel. Um, it was great. It was, you know, supposed to be about an hour, and it was, I think, about four hours. Um, he, uh, he's super busy with what he's doing. He's got a bunch of other plans. We actually talked about other ideas we might work on together as well. But, uh... At the point that I met him, we were already about eight scripts down, so uh, I told him, I said, we're already like eight in, and you know, we only have an order of 13 right now, and, and maybe if you guys cheer loud enough, NBC will give us the 22 that we deserve. <laughs> we're ready to go to 24, 25 this season, and another, you know, next year. We've got it all worked out into the season two, so we know where the show's going. But uh, Dave and I said, I just said, look, if we're going to use you, I want to use you in a capacity that's actually story driven so we can really use you whether it's uh, you know for a two part or a big one part but it has to be something that's really good we both agreed that there's no reason to bring him back unless it's for something very specific and to actually extend the new mythology that we've created with the, with, with our version of Knight Rider um, and we are actually in contact and have you know been discussing that op openly so there is a possibility again it's contingent upon schedules um, our schedules, even more so of his schedule. He's on uh, America's uh, Got Talent. Talent. Tuesdays uh, and Wednesdays, and NBC. And they're shooting. And he's got he's got a lot of projects going on. When you just you know go on his website, and it's like there's millions of them. So, um, but we are we are openly speaking. Yes. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you.